A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden. So also, when God makes a choice, it is marvelous in the eyes of humankind. God chooses certain individuals to fulfill a special mission in crucial defining moments of the salvation journey of humankind. God told me that you are the instrument he has chosen to bring his name before the Gentiles. God chose Abraham to father the nations of believers. God chose Moses to lead the people of God from the shackles of Egyptian slavery. God chose Mother Mary to bring the Savior into the world. In the dark Middle Ages, where the church was tormented by corruption from within and persecution from without, God raised up Vincent de Paul to be a prophet of charity and mission in France. His voice echoed through the ages and the nations. The 1980s was a similarly dark age in Kerala. Known as God's own country, this turned out to be the hub of godlessness. Atheistic and materialistic ideologies prevailed, secularized thinking was glamorized, God and religion were despised, families being deprived of the foundation of faith fell prey to alcoholism and its consequences. The media, the movies, and the culture was infested with vulgarity. At this hour of emptiness, despair, and ruin, God called Father George Panikhe. In 1980, at the threshold of his priestly ordination, George Panikhe faced a terrible personal crisis. At this hour of prayer and searching, he experienced the mighty anointing and call, quite similar to what we hear with Isaiah. From that moment on, Father George Panikil poured out his life as a libation in serving God and his people. For over three decades, he has spent his every energy to gather the people of God and draw them to the life-changing salvation experience in Jesus. Father George Panikil, along with Father Matthew Nikon Parambil, became pioneers of a powerful wave of spirituality that no layer of society could resist. The poor, the rich, the powerless, the politicians, the pious, the atheists, the sick, the strong, the young, the families, all rushed to seek the wisdom of this man of God. They sat through hours enthralled by his preaching, he sat night and day, listening to their sufferings, wiping their tears and offering them the life-giving word of Jesus through his prophetic gifts. Beginnings are always exciting and adventurous. And the memories are very beautiful and enriching. In 1989, when the Malayalam campus of the Divine Retreat Center was started, for the Panikil and I were staying in the same room, a very small room where one could put only two beds. That's all we had in those days. I was still teaching in the seminary. After the morning session of talk, I would go to the seminary for teaching and I would come back and take the evening sessions in the retreat center. I would be very tired at the end of the day. After supper, when I come to my room to rest, to go to bed, there would be one sick person or other, at times even two, on my bed and on the bed of Father Panikil. In those days, Sick people were given always preference and somehow they were given a room. 
if there's no room anywhere, our rooms were given. And I would go and sit in the office room or somewhere. And Father Panikil would see me some, some time after midnight. And he would come and um, he would find a bed for me somewhere in the retreat center. But he, he would be running around the whole night. If he got a couple of hours to sleep sitting somewhere, that was a good night for him. A man who never cared for his own needs and comforts. A man who could forget himself to such great extent, he could take care of every need of others. Always committed to the people, especially the poor and the sick. I must tell you, I have not seen a person more selfless than Father Panicle in my lifetime. And that selflessness, that commitment to the needs of the people, that love, I always wondered where did all that love come from? The love and mercy he got from God in times of prayer because of his love for God. And that love made him so courageous. But the panicle was always strong and bold in making decisions. I remember one night, about three o'clock at night, there was an explosion. All of us got out of bed. When I came out of my bed, it was an accident. A good strain was getting derailed just by the side of the retreat center. And this good train contained oil. And the flames rose to about 15 meters high. And terrible noise and fire. All the retreatants were frightened. And the retreat center was having a thatched roof. If any little fire comes this side, the whole place would be burned. And all of us came out of our, our rooms and dormitories and halls. And we were standing by the side, on the other side. And by five o'clock, Father Panakil asked to ring the bell. And he gathered all the people inside the hall and he began to preach. I asked him, Father, are you going to give a talk now? He said, oh sure, we have to give a talk. The people are frightened. And you know what he talked about? He talked about fire. The way God used fire as an ally to Moses, God spoke through fire, burning fire. And on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit descended in the form of tongues of fire. God using fire to speak to his people and to descend upon them and explained it so beautifully. And I could see the people listening, all gripped by fear, listening to Father Panikal, at the end of the talk, people knew fire is not a threat, it's not a curse. Fire is a blessing of God, a symbol God used to talk to his people. And this is what Father Panikal is, a man who did not care for himself, but cared for God to do God's will and cared for the people, especially for the poor and the sick and the downtrodden. For the panicle, a grace God has given for the renewal of the church. It is Father George's extraordinary openness to the prompting and wisdom of the Holy Spirit that has made him the architect of the growth of the Divine Retreat Center to where it stands now, 
as the world's largest Catholic retreat center. As the late Cardinal Varki Briyathil had declared, this center has been the spiritual powerhouse, radically transforming the fabric of the spirituality of the church and of the society, not only in the state of Kerala, but all across the world. This retreat center has been one of the main instruments God is using to renew the church, not only in Kerala or in India, but several parts of the world. Retreats are held here every week, regularly, and hundreds of thousands of people have been renewed in the Holy Spirit through the apostolate of this center here in Muringur. And I thank God for the wonderful spiritual power that is coming out from this retreat center. One of the uniqueness of this retreat center is that the fathers here preach the word of God in full fidelity to the magisterium of the Catholic Church. Pota Divine Vajana Shustro Shaigolde Amara Karil Urivanum Adende Mukia Silpi Okaya Bumana Pata George Panakilachan Tande Erodan Janmadinam Agor Sikimbul Pasangalai Devum E. Shustro Shail Achene Kaibudich Naratia Devatinde Avali Anigrathi Ortu Atom Gurdal Achenor Charna Nandi Parayanda Varana Namalor Trip Achen Mate Ailum Adigamai Achen Yesivende Karinathin Mukaman Uru Victi Bol and Nasichi Bogardu and the Yesivende Our Sneha Pathadi Achen the Nindan Alate Vajana Shusro Shailude Achen Narvati Dan Divine Thiana Gendertile Ella Parasneha Shustro Shagalde in Pinil and Elam Aram Bagan Bohuman Patachanana Ah Shustro Shagalam Aram Bikan Karanam Achende Ah Karuna Deim Karunathin Deim Shailian Adanal Divine Thiana Gendrum in the Logatin de Mumbil Aria Pudunu Engil Adan de Prathana Pata Karana Karan Bohuman Pata Panakalachanana Achende A Karunyatinde Shailiano Akalate Alchatoru Desum Ayairum Painairum of Kayalana, the Anathin of Unknown Dinner. A remit of Maya Savering Lilum Elavere Truthi Pritavanum Elavere Avishangal Kandarine, or a Sahai Kivanum, Achan Sadhishin. Divine Nagar Railway Station Kuranya Vileke. Malayalatil Bible Prindi the Vidarna Jainuru. Udiosan Marade Almiya Prathana Putai May Moke Achende Ashang Lyran. Katulika Sabele Charismatic Nail Muneta Dinde Neda Kali Loralai Achene Pravartiku and Sadhju. Father George's vision of the church made this center open doors to anointed persons, both religious and lay, to minister. The result is the phenomenal scale of evangelization and renewal. My dear friends, we are all excited about the 70th birthday of our beloved father, George Panikin. I have a long experience with him, more than 25 years. And for me, he is a man he really understands the mind of the church. He thinks the lay people, that is the church. If anybody, he finds a layman with any ability, a charism, then he runs after him to fix him into the mainstream and promote him and use him in the kingdom of God. So we could see at the beginning of all our establishment of Divine Retreat Center, everything, 
all the people he has he he has such a he has such a enthusiasm to bring more and more lay people into the activity he promote the lay people and i had such an experience in the initial days here his love and uh, that warm welcome and hospitality for the lay people so we were all fascinated with his love with his love and secondly his preaching is fully on mercy of god mercy of god love and mercy of god he don't speak on condemnation he is a man of the new testament he is a heart of jesus he jesus's heart which is compassionate and mercy to everybody anybody and everybody has a possibility to reach out to him he is reachable he is he is ready to help everybody so we all wish him a very very happy birthday and in all his endeavor we pray for him today when we look at divine retreat center this is one place where the word of god is preached day in and day out from morning 6:30 to night 8:30 right through the 365 days of the year how on earth one would wonder should this have been possible if not for the free hand the fathers gave to the holy spirit father george panikel with father matthew nikam parambil initiated a new trend in spirituality that powerfully countered the anti god wave a landmark moment was when father george panikel was appointed as the director of the popular mission retreats conducted by the vincentian congregation he led the spiritual renewal in all the dioceses of kerala bringing a new spiritual culture together with father matthew nikam perambil he came to stay in pota ashram which became the center of the popular mission people began to flock to pota ashram to meet the fathers for spiritual counseling and healing as the numbers increased the fathers started preaching retreats here soon the pota ashram became too small to contain the swelling crowds under the inspiration of the archbishop joseph kundugulam of trichur and with the direction of the authorities of the vincentian congregation father panikel located a new place by the national highway 47 in the village of Moringur it was a hospital by name divine hospital run by a trust which had stopped functioning because of technical reasons father panikel acquired the place and began the divine retreat center in 1989 the fragrance of the spiritual renewal spread to the neighboring states of the country and to other countries people flocked in tens of thousands to attend retreats being held simultaneously in seven languages week after week there is nothing like this seen anywhere in the world one cannot but admit this is the lord's doing and it is indeed marvelous in our eyes on behalf of everyone here in divine tv usa father george we wish you a happy 70th birthday on this day we remember the times you have ministered to us you appreciated us when we were victorious you advised us when we needed guidance your sincerity and understanding were always felt by all of us here may good lord use you to touch and transform thousands and thousands of lives for the ages to come. Happy birthday. Greetings from Crosstail here at West Point, Georgia. Father George, we want to wish you a very happy 70th birthday. We look forward to having many interactions with you throughout the the years and we continue to look back at all the interactions that we've had. Um myself in in particular <clears throat> had an experience with you when I first met you. uh that has stuck with me and and just has amazed me uh continuously throughout my life 
Uh, you had a, a prayer session with me, which was an honor to have you, just you and me, uh, to begin with. But when you when you finished ministering to me, you prayed over me, and you, when you laid hands on me, I described it as feeling like there was a lightning bolt that went from the top of my head down to my feet and back again. And ever since that time, I've just felt the spirit, your spirit in me, and certainly the Lord's spirit uh, because of it. And I just want to thank you for that. And you have have been to uh, West Point a number of times and have prayed with me again. And each time is I'm comforted when you when you do pray with me. And it's just been an amazing blessing to to have you a part of my life. Uh, it was an also amazing blessing to be able to go to the the Basilica de Guadalupe with you to Mexico City um, and pray with you there and have you pray over me there. And it was just a, again an amazing experience. I hope that your 70th birthday brings you as many blessings as, as you have blessed people over the years. And I know that there's millions and millions and millions of people like me that you have touched and have made a, a difference in their life. So happy birthday. What we stand in awe is a constant fiat offered by Father George Panikil to every inspiration from the Holy Spirit. In every stage of the growth of the retreat center, there was Father Panikil making the right decisions at the right moment with his extraordinary gifts of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Political leaders across ideologies would seek his wisdom even in matters of governance. <laughs> Mr. Paulos of Stolen, Philip Perkin, or Maria, and the Sago de Rere, and the Jibutil Sampoises Alam, Susha Shatende, Udo the Canon, Ningalarion on the Yan Agricun, Azaniana, Ibra Sampoisism, Divine Porta, Totacatile, the Shadda Sandesham Adikuan, Prasa Patina, Same Model, Indupol, Loga Mudan, Bible Rican, Takazile, Uyarnangil, Idida Vinile, Achenda Velia, Dirka Vision of Father George Panicle is turning septuagenarian. And we as members of the family, we are proud of him and we take delight in the Lord for him. Thousands of people who do not belong to the family by blood relationship, belonging to different religion or caste or creed, or maybe in the varied backgrounds of their life and family, it could be individuals, it could be families, they make a remark. Our dear Panakalachin, our daddy Panakalachin. And that's the radiance we see on the face of thousands of people when they mention our father Panakil. We are really proud of him because God gave him a heart of a good shepherd. There is a saying in, the, in English, ready to march into hell for a heavenly cause. And that has been his character. Doesn't matter what the situation is, to save somebody from the wretchedness and to give him dignity and decorum of his life, he is ready to march into hell for a heavenly cause. We know it is said, law is good, but love knows when to break it. And here is this special quality of Father George Panicle, as we have noticed when he deals with the people. That is, when it is needed to break the law, not because he wants to break it, but to save somebody from his misery, from his wretchedness, and that family or individual become radiant, have a dignity of life and enjoy themselves in the power and the grace of the Lord. He breaks the law, not to break the law, but goes about that. We would like to state that we are very proud of him in the Lord. And we pray he shall be established and equipped for every kind of good work by the power of the Holy Spirit. As he did in the past, he will continue to do the same for tomorrow. To dream the impossible dream, to fight the unbeatable foe, to bear with unbearable sorrow, to run where the brave dare not go. This poem perhaps fits Father Panikil best. When divine was severely attacked by evil powers, filing false cases and making false allegations, and the retreat center faced threat of closure, Father Panikil stood in the forefront, faced the fire, worked night and day, fought the battle right up to the Supreme Court, where the work of divine 
was greatly vindicated. Muringu Divine Diana Gendratil, Diana Til Pangatka and Manavari, Mande Vasagal Mulpada, Ayrthi and Yurber in the Lavaigit to Mudal Kuduni Kitakunu, Helicopter Luda Matrame, Diana Gendratil, Tan Kariunum, Aushamaya Bakshamatik and Samithan Murukanamanum, Divine Athikar, what's up very up here to you? Yangare, Yvade, Kalikan Varna, Pandavari, Mande Vasil Maya, Ayrthi and Yurber, English Malayana compounded with I, Indra Rathu, Mother Patra Vidar. When the recent floods overwhelmed Divine and its charitable homes, there are many accounts of how Father George Panikil went, where no one else would dare to, to rescue the starving hundreds in the homes for the mentally challenged and the elderly. fiery creature, an architect of a great renewal moment, what is marked about him is his selflessness and simplicity. In 2014, he was transferred across the seas to the new retreat centre at Ramsgate in UK as its superior and director. Ever since, together with Father Joseph Adat, he is leading the spiritual renewal retreats there. Father George Panagel, Director, Divine Retreat Center, UK. I congratulate you and appreciate you on your 70th birthday. You are obeying the divine commandment of our Lord Jesus Christ. Go and preach the gospel to all the creatures. And you are going around the world and establishing new retreat centers. God bless you and enrich you with all the fruits and gifts and guidisms of the Holy Spirit. Not only you, not only you, all your companions and co-workers, uh, priests and all the uh, their ministers there, Lord, bless them abundantly. May God shower choices blessings upon you on this great day. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. May God bless our dear George Panakel with the abundance of new graces. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The ministry of divine that feeds millions of souls with life has been nurtured by the blood, the sweat and the tears of this prophet. Today, as we celebrate the life of Father George Panakel, we indeed celebrate God's choice and God's magnificent plan of salvation for this world.